Hi, you have reached the Department of Social Security Administration. May I help you? Yes, I got a voicemail to call this number. Something wrong with my Social Security number, they said. Yeah, that is correct, sir. Uh, okay. See, you have reached the Department of Social Security. Yes. You yeah, reached okay. the Department of Social Security Administration. Okay. My name is Officer Robin Peterson, and I'm here to help you. <clears throat> okay. Now, uh, may I know? May I know on what time you got a call from my department? It was about 11.30. Or it was a call or it was a voice message, sir? Voice thing. Okay, no problem. And did you receive any case ID number over the phone when you got a call, sir? No, I didn't hear one. All right, do one thing. Uh, can you please verify me your name while I'm speaking with that I can pull out your information in my system? Yes, my first name is Peter. P-E-T-E-R. Okay. Last name Zinya, Z I N Y A. Peter Zinya. Okay, your first name is Peter, P E T E R. You're right. Your last name is Zinya, Z I N Y A, correct? Correct. Perfect. And what's your zip code, Mr. Zinya? My zip is 13118. So 13118, correct? Correct, yes. Perfect. Just hold for a second. Let me pull over your information in my system. Uh, okay. Hold the line. Thank you. Thank you for your patience, sir. Oh, okay. Hello. I'm sorry. The information which you gave me does not match in my system. Okay. So can you please verify me your name and your zip code once again? Peter Z Peter Zinya, one three one one eight. So P E T E R. Correct. That's your first name, and yes. Zinya. So Z as in zebra, I as in Indiana. N as in Nancy, Y as in yellow, A as in apple. Yes. I'm sorry, this information is does not match in my system. Did you get a call from the same number which you're calling me? Or yes. Or from the different number? No, no, it was this number. It was my cell phone. The same number which you're calling me, right? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, uh, let me verify the last thing in my system that I'm just confirming I'm talking with the right person or not. So, Mr. Peter, can you verify me your social security number? For a security reason, zero eight six one zero one four six three. Okay, it's a zero eight six one zero one four six three. Correct? Yes. That's your social. Yeah. Please hold the line. Let me verify that. Okay. Thank you for your patience, sir. No, okay. Hello. Uh, thank you for the right information. I appreciate. Okay. I would like to ask you that uh, when this social has been issued, may I have the date on what date or month um, date when your social is issued? Yeah, 1966. 1966, right? Mm-hmm. Perfect. All right, thank you very much for the information, sir. Let me give you the reason of this call. The reason you were contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement action file on your social security number and we have gotten orders to suspend your social at this right moment because we have found many suspicious activities done on your social. So are you aware about the situation Mr. Peter? Well no, but how can you suspend a social security number? I don't know how you can do that, sir. No, like did you receive any call from your local police department for this concern? No. All right. Hello. Yeah, hello. I'm asking you that. Did you receive any call from your local police department for this concern? No, I said no. I don't know why they would call. All right, Mr. Zinia, let me explain to you that. Okay. Take a pen and piece of paper in your handy so I can provide you some information about your case. When you get ready, let me know, Mr. Zinia. Go, go ahead. Okay, write down your case. ID number is DC. D as in David, C as in Charlie, mm -hmm. 7010. Okay. And you can write down your warrant ID number. Your warrant, warrant ID number. Warrant, warrant, you said? Yes, arrest a warrant ID arrest number. Arrest a warrant for, five, three. for who? Yes. A warrant for who? Under your name, sir. Under, uh, for Because someone is using your social somewhere, I'm going to let you know, sir. Okay. It's an identity tap issue under your social. Oh. I'll brief you. Okay. I'll write, write down your uh, so your warrant ID number uh, is 5375. Five, seven, five. Okay. Four two. Oh, four two. Okay. 
Yeah, my name is Officer. Yeah, my name is Officer Robin Peterson, and my batch ID number is SA6482. Okay. Yes, and uh, now listen to me very carefully, Mr. Peter. Okay. okay. I will go ahead and read out. Yes, I will go ahead and read out the legal charges okay, yes. which are against your name. All right. So. I will highly appreciate if you do not interrupt me in between while I'm speaking okay. as these mm -hmm. lines are being yeah these lines are being federally recorded and monitored for evidence purpose okay okay yeah I don't care yeah if if, if you have any question I will give mm -hmm. you a fair enough chance to speak and raise your questions once I have completed my part is that okay with you mr. Peter okay go ahead mm -hmm. sure now before I proceed I'd like to verify your date of birth mr peter what's your date of birth 3 16 1950. uh 3 16 16 19 yeah what is the Nine year which year 19 1950 50. oh 1950 right right just a second let me verify that information thank you for the information mr peter okay Okay, now let me explain to you the situation that what happened with your social. Your social has been found suspicious for some criminal activities in the state of Texas, in Houston, Texas. So I have some questions for you, and I want you to be honest so that we can help you in a better way. Okay, Mr. Okay. Peter Zinia? Yes. So for first question is that, have you ever been to the state of Texas before in your past years? Years ago, I was. Yes, I used to go down there and work. It, it was near Dallas. It was outside of Dallas. It was a jackalope farm, and I used to go down and work the roundups and on the jackalope. And then in the spring, of course, we'd have to brand the jackalope so that we knew who belonged okay. to what jackalope. It was hard rounding them all up, but. I, I only worked down there a couple of years, and I came back here to New York. No problem. And uh, apart from that, do you know anyone who visit Texas frequently? Any of your neighbor or your friend or your colleague? Do you know anyone who no, visit there? No, I don't know anybody recently? who goes there. No. And have you ever lost your phone or your wallet in your past years? No. Never. No. No, I never lost it. Okay. Mm. Okay. Or have you shared an? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'd like to ask you that. Okay. Have you shared any of your pers Have you shared any of your personal information online on any website while applying for any loans, credit card, payday loans? Have you shared your information with? No, I would never do them? that. No. That's great. And I suggest to you that you don't need to share any of your information with any one, any company or I'm any person. Good. No, okay? I don't. I don't. Yes. Because. That, that can be possible that, that someone can use your information. You can stolen your identity. Yes, right? my, my grandson my grandson's told me all about this. He's a policeman and he told me a, not to do this, not, oh, to, okay. not to do that online. Perfect. And uh, Mr. Junior, before I proceed, I would like to verify your current mailing address. Can you verify your mailing address your, where you live current? 100 Main Street, uh -huh. Moravia, New York. One Can three. Spell one, it out. Spell what? Moravia. Uh -huh. M O R A V I A. Uh -huh. Moravia. Okay. Then. New York. New York. Yes. Just a moment. Okay. So, Moravia is your city name. Yes, the name where I live. What yeah. is your city? Moravia. What is your city? Okay. And Moravia. New York. What is zip code? One zip three code one three one one eight. Correct. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, so I have okay. Okay, your address is one hundred Main Street. Right. Uh, Moravia, New York. Right. One three one one eight. Right. Correct. Yes. Okay. Just a second. Let me verify that. Okay. All right. Thank you for the verification. Now let me brief you about your case. Uh, this case is going to be taken to the FBI headquarters as we have a strong evidence that are enough to prove you guilty inside the courthouse. Guilty and of what? The investig I'm going to brief you that. Okay. Well. See, the investigation is the, 
let me explain mm -hmm. what happened and who is using your information okay that uh, the investigation started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas and the car contains are some blood and some drug residues inside it hence after investigation we found that the car was rented under your name and your personal social information well, did, um, there is one address there is one address linked with the title of vehicle let me give you the address okay. to you Mr. Peter Okay. The address in the city of Rowlett, R-O-U-L-E-T-T, -E, Rowlett, which was raided by the U.S. Marshals. But unfortunately, there was no one inside the residence. But okay. we have recovered, it, yes, we have recovered eight pounds of cocaine, which is an abusive drug, and some documentations we found from financial institutes like Chase I, Bank, I thought, Bank of America, and U.S. Bank. Okay, but I thought they legalized that in texas i i didn't know that. okay yeah I, I thought they legalized cocaine maybe not maybe i was thinking I'm something sorry? else i don't know okay go ahead what kind of why what kind of copy you're talking about mr peter Look, uh, i i i don't i'm getting mixed up with the laws i thought they made it legal but i guess they i guess they didn't okay you mean say you didn't do anything wrong like this, right? Well, no, I wouldn't do anything wrong like this. Okay, so Ms. Peter, uh, we have found some documentations from financial institutes like Chase Bank, Bank of America, and U.S. Bank. So may I know that do you deal with any of those banks? No. You don't deal with Chase Bank of, Bank of America and U.S. Bank? No. All right. Okay, see, Mr. Peter, why I'm asking you this question is because there are also some documentations we found in the banks, the accounts in the banks which are overseas in the countries like China, Simon Islands, and uh, Jamaica. Sam and this entire paper works as, yes, this entire anybody, paper works as your I, name on it. I don't know anybody in the Salmon Island. I don't even know where Mr. it is. Peter, let me... Uh, let me finish my part. I okay, okay. I'm just doing my job over oh, here. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, you do. Okay. Mm. See, right now, Mr. Peter, this entire paperwork has your name on it, and hundred okay. of thousand of dollars has been wired from this bank accounts locally and internationally, which totally seems suspicious to us. And there is the reason we as a yeah, there is the reason we as a social security administration of the state of Texas has filed a case against you for drug trafficking and as well as money laundering as per the Money Laundering Control Act 1986. But it wasn't me. And now, I can understand Mr. Peter, but right now, as we are running a very short of time, what you have done was totally against the law of I US didn't do it. and drug I, 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 I didn't do it. If you haven't done anything mrs Zenia, then you don't you worry about that okay let me finish okay my but, okay part. okay go ahead with your part see right now the drug in administration act and we have to sign the arrest warrant against your name and, and we have to suspend your social security number right away so now mr peter let us know do you have any question regarding this case and your criminal activities you can ask me i don't have any criminal activities that's what I'm trying to tell you. It's not me. Okay. So you mean to say you're not the one who is... With well, no, I'm not. Right? I'm 70 years old. I'm a little bit old to be having cocaine and I know that, sir. blood and drug in my car. All right. Okay, Mr. Peter, uh, I would like to ask you that. Do you have any doubts in your mind on someone who can do this kind of activities, like any of your family member, your friend, or your colleague? I, who can uh, take? Who is trying to re take a revenge from you? And do you yeah, know anyone? And uh, no, nah. there was a guy in North Carolina that I I know, but he wouldn't have get my social security number. He's a little shady, okay. but he, I I don't know how to get my social security number. Maybe you, you can you have shared your information with someone, and they can use your information, sir. That can be possible. Could Maybe. be. He, he lives in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, Mr. Peter, let me uh, tell you one thing that okay. in this regard, we have 
Yes, we have checked your past records from last years, and I can see that you are a law-abiding citizen of United States. And uh, I can see that your banking contains genuine records, and yours who shall have no other complaints in the past. No, right? no, nobody and ever complained have, about yes. my social security. Exactly, sir. And uh, there is the only reason we try to reach you before you face any legal consequences. And we have a yeah. doubt that maybe it's not you. Well, it's not but me. But someone else who may... Yes, yeah, someone else who may have an access to your personal information who is doing these activities under your name. All right, Mr. Peter. So... Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. My, cous yes, my cousin's so, here. Uh, this, uh, Eddie. At this point of time... Oh, oh. Eddie. Take those shoes off that dog. You know, let him out. Uh, Mr. Peter, are you there? Yeah, yes, yes. My cousin Eddie's here. He put shoes on my dog. The dog's going nuts. He plays with him like that. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Mr. Peter, right now. Uh, okay, fine. Mm -hmm. Mr. Peter, uh, right now at this point of time, if you are agreed to help the Department of U.S. Treasury in this case, then only we can put your case and arrest warrant on hold and we so have put we my arrest warrant on hold I, I can't go to jail i'm 70 years old and we also have to find the real culprits who have used your yes, personal information yes. on this fraudulent activities yes find them too so what is your intent are you willing to cooperate with the department of u.s treasury in this case or not mr yeah what Peter, have i got to do i don't know I will let you know, Mr. Peter. I will let oh, you know what okay. you need to do for the oh, next okay. step. So, if you are able to do that, that will be great, Mr. Peter, because, see, trust me, the cancelling your arrest I warrant is you. not yes. all easy task. No. It's not all easy task for me, but we have no. to, see, we have to suspend your social okay. security. But I don't, number want, right I don't want it. Su I don't want it suspended. That's the thing. That's what I live at. Peter, let, That's what I live at, Mr. social Peter, security. Let, let so me, if you suspend it, I speak. won't get it. Huh? Mr. Peter, let me finish. Okay, let go ahead. I'm part. nervous, sir. Go ahead. I can understand, sir, but I'm I'm here to help you. You're here to help. I know you're from the government. Me. Okay, go ahead. Exactly. So, Mr. Peter, uh, we have to suspend your social right away from your name, and we have to issue a new social security number for you within 24 hours. We will provide you a new social security number for you okay. that no one can use your current one, right? Okay. So, most of probably tomorrow, it would be... Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you, yes. Yes. Uh, see, most tomorrow, it would be the appointment between you and the social security administration officers. Uh, they will come at your doorstep. They will personally visit to you at your residence. But they can't. And why? They can't because of the social distance. I'm sorry, what do you mean by that? The social distancing required by the government? No, no, our, let's see, uh, tomorrow our officials will uh, bring a visit to you at your residence. They will explain to you how uh, this case happened and they will explain to you will how they to have ha your old social... Will they have hazmat suits? A new social yes, of course. Okay. Because I'm I'm a vulnerable person. Uh, you don't need to worry about that. It's okay, don't worry, Mr. Okay. All right. All right. So at this, so for the next procedure, Mr. Peter Zinia, mm -hmm. uh, I just have a few questions, and I want you to be honest so that we can help in a better way for the next procedure. How can you remove your name from this kind of criminal activity? Well, yeah, we gotta remove my name. Perfect. Okay. So first of all, may I okay. know that? Yes. Uh, what? The the house which the you're house. living right now. It's it your own own place or it's your my own house? Eventually. Yes, it's my house. And the the, the what? Information which you gave me that 100 Main Street, Moravia, New York. Yes. One three one one eight. That's my or house. Do you have any other? Do you have any other under your name? Any other what? Any other house, your own house. Why would I need another house? I only need one house. No, that's it. Okay, Mr. Peter, uh, how many 
Uh, vehicles you own under your possession. How many vehicles do you have? One. Which one do you have, sir? May I know the name, please? Yes, a 2017 Hibachi. 2017? Yes. Can you spell a parching? H A B A T C H I. Hibachi, 27, 2017, right? To 2017 Hibachi, yes. It's got a big grill on yes, it. Yes, and that's okay. And Mr. Peter, apart from that, uh, how many financial institutes you're banking with? How many Just bank one. accounts you have under your I only your deal with one bank, sir. Which one? May I have the name, please? Which one do you have? Citi Bank. TD? Yes. TD, okay. Or you hold a checking or saving or you have a boat? I got both. Saving and checking, right? Right. No problem. And apart from that, uh, do you have any credit card in your possession? Do you hold a credit card? Yeah, I got a credit card. And which one do you have? I got a Visa. Visa card, right? Yes. Only one or do you have any other? No, I only need one. That's all I got. Only, only one, right? Yep. Okay, and uh, can you confirm, Mr. Peter, can you confirm the approximately total balance in this account of your TD Bank saving account? Not the exact, uh, I mean, what is the approximately balance you probably have? Eight, probably 1800. 1800, right? Yes. 1800? Yes. And in your saving or your checking account? That'd be in the savings. In your savings? And what about checking, sir? Five. Sorry, 550. 550, oh, yes, right? yes. Okay, so you mean to say, Mr. Peter, you have in a TD Bank account saving, in your saving you have 1800? Yes. Right? Right. And in your checking you have 550, correct? R right. And uh, you have a credit card with Visa card? Yes. Okay, uh, can you confirm the approximately uh, what is the available limit of this card? 5,000. What is the available limit? 5,000. No, what is the available? What is the available? 5,000. After spend. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, no problem, sir. And uh, apart from that, do you have any money market investments? No, I don't. I don't have any of that because I never made that much money to have one. I mean, okay. just, I mean. After I left Texas, came back to New York, I worked for the county. I was the coward of the county, but then I had to quit that job because I was afraid.